Uh, I am Jose Ignacio Chorovia. I am the chairman of the uh, Mexico Publishers Association. I have also my own publishing company. As a chairman of the Publishers Association, I try to enforce the uh, relation between all the publishers in Mexico and the uh, relations that we have to have with the general public, with the uh, bookshops, with the bookstores, with the, and particularly with the government and society as a whole. How large is the organization? How many members? And uh, we have around 220 members in our association, which is highly representative because all the major companies are part of our association. And when you're looking at the market, the current market, uh, what is the general perception? Because you have a number of relationships, both within the government, what is the perception of publishing, and within the public? Right. What is the well, as, as you know, uh, we're a uh, uh, a very uh, complicated uh, structural uh, situation in Mexico because our customers are, uh, are, are the government is our main customer as well as our main competitor. You know, uh, in, 1940, in 2014 we produced about 330 million books, of which 230 were produced or bought, bought, bought by the government. So that leaves us about one third of books published in Mexico just for the private sector. And that is a bit complicated. So that, although the market is quite large, it's a good number of books, only we, we only really have one third part of, of that market for ourselves. The government is the largest producer of books. It's the largest producer and also the largest consumer. So it's, a, it's both a competitor and your best <laughs> so, buyer. So it's a complicated relationship. Do they outsource the production of those books to members of your own group? Uh, just in the case of secondary school okay. and English uh, for basic schools. The other, uh, the other books are done, done totally by them. Gotcha. By the How do you characterize the, the Mexican book market? There's been a sort of shift in attention to Mexico in the past year. Yes. Um, and what is your sort of general state? Is this a is this a is the is it heating up? Is it contracting, expanding? It's actually contracting. Unfortunately, we uh, had been growing since 2008 when the big crash worldwide. Uh, we had been steadily growing up till 2013, which when we reached this uh, 330 million books uh, book production. But last year it was virtually the same, and this year is not going to be much better, unfortunately. What are the factors that are contributing to that? Well, mainly the uh, economic situation. Uh, book consumption in Mexico is, I guess, is worldwide. is very, very relevant within disposable income. And down there we're having a lot of trouble with uh, oil prices and uh, a lot of things that have not working well. So the economic factors are it's playing basically, into this. Basically, yes, yes. And when you talk to publishers and since you're sitting in Frankfurt and you're looking at within the global publishing industry, where do you rank Mexican publishing on a kind of level of one to ten in professionalism? Would you stack them up against the same publishers in Argentina, Spain, North America? Uh, yes, I certainly would. Uh, actually, uh, uh, I believe there's a new uh, and, uh, research coming out sometime in November by the government, which will uh, decision uh, Mexican industry uh, from the facts we already know, which have not been published yet, uh, very, very much in the same level that I would say Spain, a bit uh, better than Argentina, which used to be the, the largest Spain in, Mexico, in, in the South American market. And how has the market been developing as both an import market and an export market? For uh, we, copyrights or...? No, but, uh, we, we're still made majorly importers of books rather than exporters. Unfortunately, although we have, a, we should have a very important market in the United States with 20 million uh, Mexicans living there and with a high disposable income, but for some reason we have not, uh, or other, we have not been uh, really successful at, at uh, getting it. Okay. We're trying very hard. Right now. What do you think needs to change for that to happen? Well, we need to have uh, two things. From our side, from the, the private sector, we need to be more aggressive. And from the uh, public sector, there has to be a, a, a orientation, a public, 
political policy, uh, public policy, I'm sorry, uh, oriented to that, as it was in some of, uh, time ago in Spain and still is. So okay. currently the government has not... There's not a real uh, clear picture of it. Our, our, book, uh, our uh, book law is really uh, dead matter, it's, it's not enforced, or it's, mm -hmm. not, it's really not, not working. Not working. Yes. What has been the impact of digitization on the Mexican book? So far very little. Actually, the, uh, the figures that we have in for 2013 and 2014 virtually doesn't count. It's uh, very negligible. Absolutely. If you graph it, it doesn't even, even appear in the graph. <laughs> okay. Is that something that you see as an opportunity that people are looking at? It is an opportunity and it's growing, but it's uh, very slowly yet. I guess one of the reasons is that for the general Mexican economy, uh, book readers are not yet very accessible. Okay. And some of that may change with the introduction of some of the new platforms yes, that are coming? Yes, I, I think that. Yeah. Yeah. And just specifically about your own publishing house, can yes. you tell us about that? Sure. Uh, I have uh, been uh, doing children's books for uh, children, juvenile books for some time, and now I have a new line that is uh, dedicated for handicapped uh, uh, people. Not so much uh, as directly to them, although we have books in Braille, but uh, for other for the society to have a better relation and know what's going on around with uh, what happens with somebody that has. Uh, down syndrome or problems, uh, movement problems or whatever. So uh, uh, the the topic being more understanding, yes, helping people. Uh, absolutely, yes. So now, so, so, now, so you go to school and you find that you have a schoolmate that uh, you know cannot hear or cannot move or something. He doesn't uh, call, attract the attention so much for that, but you start relating to him. As a regular person that you would absolutely to. just different different yes. exactly different type of differently able yes I believe it's the phrase yes. yes if people wanted to learn more about both the federation and about your your own company online how can they find that information uh, the federation they would have to go uh, www dot canem c a n i e m dot org and that would be your, uh, the federation of publishers and uh, uh, as my company would be www.citesa, S-I-T-E-S-A, dot M-X. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Gracias.